<sighs> Hi, friends. Before we get started, I'd like to do just one thing real quick, and that is to, I know, I know all of you here know the lovely and talented Danielle to my right and Robbie to her right, but say hi to our good friend, Mr. Jeff Hobson down there on the end. We're right. happy to have Jeff with us tonight. This little, this little act was born quite by accident on stage at the Stockyards on a live radio show, no pressure or anything. We're just going to try to recreate magic that we didn't plan on. So uh, without any further ado, this is The Horseman, and we're all real glad you're here. Jeff, you want to play us a song and sing us a song to kick us off? Yeah. Why don't you do that? Somehow I knew that was going to get tossed to me. <laughs> Pick on the left-handed guy. Pick on the lefty. Pick on the left-handed guy on that end of the stage. That's right. Yes, I'd be glad to do your song. Thank you, brother. You know, being that uh, so many songs... Uh, Man, it doesn't matter what genre you're in. Uh, you, there's relationship songs all over the map, you know, and the country music is uh, especially noted for tear jerkers and drown your sorrows in the bottle and all that sort of thing. Well, I, I wrote a breakup song, but it's not like that. This is about the upside, how it can be better for you. It's called So Far So Good. Final words and I walk back into a house that knows me Wondering what will my new status quo be The echo of my footsteps is all I heard Well now it's been a week And I thought there'd be a whole lot of tears Still I laughed till I cried I thought I would die at some old movie I hadn't seen in years I thought a crowd would gather round To kick a man when he's down But the atmosphere in here Shoots down my fears Cause I'd come to believe Life had crashed and burned There's life on the table Once the tables had turned so far, so good It's turning out better than I thought it would So good, so far I can get used to the way things are So far, so good So good, so far Here's the best part. Now the remote's all mine <laughs> when the TV's on. It sure as hell ain't no pity, no more sex in the city, all day marathons. There's room in my closet for all of my clothes, and when the weekend comes, anything goes. No more bitching about the mess in the kitchen. Since you've been gone As I'd come to believe life had crashed and burned There's life on the table once the tables had turned So far, so good It's turning out better than I thought it would So good, so far I can get used to the way things are so far so good, so good, so far. Thank y'all. Thank you. 
You know, when the radio station put this pairing together, they were uh, they were calling it the Four Horsemen, and uh, I was in a band with my buddy Ronnie Spears at the time. And if you find any of those original photos or videos from that night, you couldn't miss how big a personality Ronnie Spears was. <laughs> he was. Everybody that ever had a five-minute conversation with him walked away saying, "That's my best friend, Ronnie." That's my Spears. friend, Ronnie. <laughs> So, uh, let's do a let's do a Ronnie Spears song since we're doing this thing. Right. Hank drank, that's true. I like Hank, so I drink too. I've drowned a lot of sorrows in this bar. Country music once had so. I still love to lose control of the sound of Haggard singing, swinging doors. And these tables and these chairs, hell, yeah, they've been through fist fights and love affairs and stories dating way back before my time. Sandy served me my first beer I met all my wives in here I came back to drink off of my mind This may be an old bar to you But it's a memory to me If you can't handle Willie and Merle This ain't the place to be you can go try one of them corporate cowboy boudoirs down the street. This may be an old bar to you, but it's a memory to me. This beer joint was a palace. Back when Texans lived in Dallas. When this old jukebox still played solid gold. Times have changed, folks have too. May not look like much to you, but right here's where the good times used to roll. This may be an old bar to you, but it's a memory to me. If you can't handle Willie and Merle, this ain't the place to be. You can go try one of them corporate cowboy boudoirs down the street. This may be an old bar to you, but it's a memory to me. Baby, this may be an old bar to you, but it's a memory to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Little spears. You know... I honestly don't know if Ronnie ever knew that my name was Atwood. <laughs> yeah. For all the time we knew each other, he called me Atwood. Hey, man, let's call Atwood and see if he wants to go over with us. <laughs> and the more I think about it, Ronnie had his own kind of unique language, which anybody that knew him would vouch for immediately. <laughs> for instance, if he wanted a shot of Tuwaka, it was a was well, Yucatan Peninsula. It was one of them Yucatan that Peninsula. That scene played out over and over. We'd go to the bar after the show, and uh, and uh, bar, Ronnie'd walk up and grin real big and say, you mean one of them Yucatan Peninsulas? And the bartender would look at Ronnie, and she'd look at me, and I'd say, Tawaka. Tawaka. And he'd go, yeah, yeah, Tawaka. Tawaka. So I don't know if he just thought Atwad was how my name was pronounced. It's a high probability. We also used to go through the drive-thru at Jack in the Box, and he'd say, give me some of them Mexican rolled-up deals. I'm like, dude, those are egg rolls, and they're from China. <laughs> well, as it turns out, I'm going to get this out of the way right off the bat. Somebody asked me about it earlier, and it tickled me that somebody cares enough to ask me about it. I got this new song out. It's out there on the radio, and some folks are playing it. It's kind of yeah. cool after all these years to have a song out on the radio. Jumped up into the 50s this week, so uh, I'll let you know if it does any better than that, because you know if it, something happens, I'm going to talk about 
<laughs> you do say a lot of words, man. Half the people here tonight, Robbie, are here to t see you tell me to shut up. So, well, see, the thing is, Ronnie Spears was phonetically challenged. That's no doubt. Mark Allen Atwood is not phonetically challenged at all. But you kind of well, wish he, I was. He says a whole lot of words. <laughs> this is called Island Man. Wash the sand from my toes today for the first time As I sifted through memories of you I've been all out of sorts and I was way out of line So I came here to try and regroup There's big beaches here, honey you should see the waves As they crash onto the sand I'm Just try to remember that we had good days Cause from now on this is all I Living on surf and sand I left the smoke of the city behind So I could breathe I traded concrete and cars for these stars And now I am an island man mm -hmm. well, My new friend have big mouths and wingspans to match They catch a lot more fish than me but My troubles here are how little I catch It's all this rum that I try not to drink And I wrote this song for you with my toes in the sea Hoping someday you'd understand I wasn't running from you, I was looking for me And from now on this is all I friends and thanks for coming out for the second week of these by the way this is the lighthouse music series sponsored by starbase brewing you know the people that build the rockets they also make the beer and we're glad you're here we got eight weeks of these thanks to the hopper house how about a big round of applause for the hopper house for being the music place here in port isabel for sure for sure and uh we got eight weeks of this this is week two and uh thank you guys for being out here and i'm gonna shut up <laughs> no you are before robbie has a chance to tell me to <laughs> I'll get you for it, sir. At some point during the night, I want that I want that phrase to be called down. I I expect it. I've never said that. Oh my God! You've said it over a microphone in a packed club. <laughs> yeah, but he was drunk. <laughs> That's fair enough. So was you. You know I. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm real happy to see this particular crowd we, we have here tonight because uh, I don't have to explain the references that uh, millennials don't get. <laughs> <laughs> he just called y'all old, by the way. No, I'm older. I guarantee you, I'm older than most of you in here. I just I just had a birthday. I just had a birthday Wednesday, and and that put me one year up on the on the rock, or on the register. Yeah. <laughs> Well, except except Mark. I mean, Mark, no, Mark Grant. Except Mark Grant. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if they're picking on you, Mark, they're not picking on this Mark. So yeah. we have to. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I, I want to thank Mark Allen Atwood for putting this uh, this thing together and uh, having us down here at Hopper House to play. And I want to thank all three of these folks up here. Uh, for being my friends and making music with the likes of me for a long time. I appreciate them. This is a song that has a, a reference in it <laughs> that you're going to get. <laughs> 
Anyway, it's called Novel Sort of Man. I know you've been lying. You've been deceiving me, and I think you should know. You put on a real good show, but I ain't buying. Cause real life drama's got no actors reading lines, and no poets making rhymes. So take a long, long walk, and make up lots of reasons you can blame it all. Blame it all on me Clark Cable's not around To give a damn about your heartache You've built a silver screen Around your mind Episodes of fiction Imitate the lives of lovers And true love in real life Is hard to find so I'm hoping you'll excuse me while I show myself the exit. If I've had all your performance, I can stand. I can take the bitter with the sweet. But you love to spoil the ending. So why don't you search and find yourself a novel sort of man? You're used to getting You're used to taking what you want from men like me If I was on a gambling spree I'd be betting But you're still reading lines the way they've never been Forget them credits at the end So keep your head up in the clouds Save your lines for someone listening You'll cry one day And someone else will say Clark Gable's not around To give a damn about your heartache You've built a silver screen around your mind Episodes of fiction Imitate the lives of lovers and true love in real life is hard to find So I'm hoping you'll excuse me While I show myself the exit I've had all your performance I can stand I can take the bitter with the sweet But you love to spoil the ending So why don't you search and find yourself a novel Sword of man so much appreciate that i bet there are other people here in the crowd who were in or around dallas at that time when that song first hit the radio and it arrested me and i was like whoa i think you Man. said it i think you said it pretty well on the old uh book of faces today when you were letting everybody know that uh jeff's album heretic hit all of the usual suspects today you can find it anywhere you find music as of today. Spotify, Amazon, any of those, Apple Music, all that stuff. And Robbie was saying something about it earlier today, and I think I think you said it best, something about it just... I usually do. It, it, you know what? <laughs> I'm not even going to give you anything for the rest of the night. That's it. That's it. Something about how it just it really just captured all of the songwriters that were there in DFW at the time. It just blew everybody away, and, and it really did. And I'm so happy that everybody else is going to get to do it. To I, can, now. I can think of at least ten young songwriters who, you know, frequent in that event and who, I mean, mm -hmm. and, and there's probably 200 of them, you know. I mean, uh, it was so fun to watch. It was a, it was a, it was a culture there for, a, for about four or five That's years. That's how we met, that. Jeff. Yeah, yeah. I remember Actually that night. Was. I met you and uh, Manders and 
uh, LaFon, I think, and a whole bunch of folks that night. Yeah. So that's how we, we became friends was that uh, yep. songwriter deal. So. About 10 or 12 of us that became friends yeah. that night and we're still friends Still to friends. This day. We still put up yeah. with each other. Danielle and I met you before I did. Yeah. Remember that? Last Chance Saloon in yeah. Plano. She came yep. home. I was sick, and I didn't get to go. And she went at, at Last Chance Saloon, and Jeff was there. And she came home. She said, okay, there's just dudes you got to meet. You're, you're gonna, <laughs> y'all are supposed to be best friends, and you got to meet him. And, <laughs> Danged if we didn't. I know things. <laughs> yeah, but I want to thank you, Robbie, for uh, and Mark as well. Mark's written some very, very complimentary things about me. And, and Robbie, yours just blew me away today and I I love these guys. I love We them. love you right back. Yeah. If you do one of them songs you know how to play. Oh, okay. Don't look at me, it ain't a Mark Allen Atwood show. <laughs> it ain't a Mark Allen Atwood song either. Nope. This is a this is a song off of the getaway. It's a, the identifying the problem part of the story. All I'm making is a living. Yeah. What I'm needing is a life. I've wasted every single minute stacking dollars and toll and strife. Now I'm staring down tomorrows that are spent their day. I'll ever feel at home I paid last month's bills this morning There ain't enough to go around I'm feeding every dime I'm earning To this God forsaken time Leave this place tomorrow If I could get away Cause I'm dying here in Dallas A little faster every day Well there's gotta be a somewhere and living ain't so hard Where folks don't tell you who they want to be They tell you who they are Where you only count your riches And the way you spend your time I'm tired of dying here in Dallas I want to leave it all behind I'm tired of dying here in Dallas I want to leave it all behind Robbie White, Danielle White right there It's the Whites of Texas these days The Whites of Texas today